Hi there. This is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well, and thank you for watching this clip on graphing rational equations. This has been a typical, really troublesome um, topic for a lot of students. What I hope to do today is give you a systematic ways, a three-step one, two, three. It's as simple as one, two, three. Three-step process. Then you can use all the time to graph any sort of a radical. Uh, rational equations. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check this thing called, um, well, let's see, this is the horizontal asymptotes. We need a vertical asymptotes and we have special interest points. Special points. Okay, so those are the three parts you need to find out for this in order to graph a rational equation. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to call this thing, uh, I'm, I'm drawing almost a um, computer programmer's way. We're going to call this thing called a head heavy. Okay, I'll explain what it means first. So if it's a head heavy, if the answer is no, then you can find the asymptotes right over here. If the answer is yes, you do have to do a long division as long as uncomfortable or as tedious as it might look. And then you will get a horizontal asymptotes. Okay, let's explain that one later on. What you want to do for vertical asymptotes, you want to find number of holes. That's the number that make the denominator of the rational equations undefined. Okay, so depending on numbers, you're going to go over here and then you're going to test each one of the points. So let's say you have a x equal to 5, and you're going to go a little better to the left, a little better to the right. So 5.1 is one point, x equal to 4.9 is another point, and then you're going to find what y is equal to for each one of them. Okay, so for each one of the points where the function is undefined, you're going to have to repeat the same process. This is how you get vertical asymptotes. And for special points, this typically is when you find y value if x equal to 0. Okay, this, for this case, it's pretty easy. So y at 0 is equal to 5, 0 plus 5, and 0 minus 5. So y at 0 is equal to minus 1. So the special point for us is minus 1, uh, my apology, 0 and minus 1. Okay. So now let's go through where we, how we do this thing called a head heavy. A head heavy rational equation refers to the degree of the numerator is higher. Now if you divided this one doing long division, so the answer here is yes, it is head heavy in that the top is heavier than the bottom. You can pretend that this kid is going to fall over. Okay, there's our little kid. It's going to fall over head heavy. If you do long division here, as I did earlier, you have x plus 5 plus 30x minus 5. And the first portion here is your horizontal asymptotes. And for us, this is a, actually a line. Okay. So what this means as x goes to positive infinity, or x goes to negative infinity, the function goes close to y is equal to x plus 5. So we're going to store this piece of information for horizontal asymptotes. Now for vertical asymptotes, so here, luckily we only have one point that we need to investigate. So y is equal to x squared minus 5, x plus 5 here, minus 5. Uh, what you want to do is, what happens when x is a little bit less than 5 and x equal to a little bit bigger than 5? As you can see over here, this one, y is going to approach to negative infinity and y is approaching positive infin infinity if it's a little bit bigger. That's because this chunk is always a positive. Okay, so we're going to store that piece of information here. And we have a special point of 0 minus 1. Now you're going to ask me, what am I going to do with all this information? Well, a graph is actually where you put uh, all the information at the same spot. 
So let's use all the information we have. I'm going to draw a big graph over here. Apologize, the line doesn't look quite as straight as I like to be. All right. The first thing we're going to use the, is the what well, looks like a horizontal asymptote, but it's actually a line for our case. Y is equal to x plus 5. So I'm drawing this line over here. And I know as x gets bigger and bigger, I'm going to draw here with an error. Okay. This is referred to my horizontal asymptotes. Okay, because it gets as x gets bigger and bigger, y gets closer to the this line. Our function gets closer to y is equal to x plus five. For the negative portion, it's similar. It goes over on this end. Let's see, okay. So as x goes to negative infinity, our line gets closer to this end. All right. So next thing we're going to do, this is our horizontal asymptotes. Next thing we're going to do is when x equal to 5, we're going to draw a dotted line here. The function is undefined when x equal to 5. As I said earlier, this is 5, this is x-axis. Uh, when x is close to 5 from the left side, we have a negative infinity, which I'm going to draw with the arrow downward. When x is a little bit bigger than 5, but close to 5, it's going to go positive infinity. Now, having gotten those four errors, most of our work is done. That, my tongue is tied. Collecting those, connecting those two errors give us the function. So here's the function on this branch. And then on this branch, since we know 0 and Minus 1 is a special point. Okay, so my graph is going to go uh, over there. Okay, so here's my graph. So up to this point, I wish I could zoom it out for you a little bit. Let me see if I can finish that one. There we go. Let's zoom out a little bit. You can see the graph. So here's the one branch, here's the other branch, and we used up all the information we have. Now remember earlier we said there's three pieces of information. There's horizontal asymptotes, number of holes, and then special points. And it's just to verify it, I went on to the Wolfgram, and here's the computer-generated graph. Pretty much the one, same one we have. All right, I hope this one is clear. As I said, it's not a difficult process if you have a if you have a step by step way to go through it. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun. At least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.